Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle with Self Purpose Activation, and today we're going to just be looking at what is going on in this connection with you and whomever it is that you are thinking about in this moment. Okay, so um, I feel like this connection is one that is maybe a possible like no contact situation or or even possibly minimal contact if any um, we've got the bear energy here and the bear energy is all about um caution i feel like you guys are being protected like the reason why i almost feel like you guys are not in communication with this person and it's not of your wanting uh, this is for most of you it's a general reading so take it where it resonates and this block in communication is actually for your protection why right why because look what energy is wanting to come through you guys we've got abundance and we have paradise all right it says keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude bliss along with paradise with happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness enjoy each other i feel you guys that there's two different things going on here. There's definitely the energy of, of abundance and paradise that is wanting to be manifested in. And this person that you have no contact with right now, the reason why that contact is being blocked or that connection is being blocked from either happening or manifesting is because that person it would keep this energy, the abundance and the paradise energy from being able to be manifested in, okay? So that's kind of like the overall gist of what's going on with this connection it literally i feel there's there's a block there there's a block from this energy uh from this connection um from you being able to experience it in some way or another okay so let's get some more information what is going on in this connection you got the king of swords in reverse why is the king of swords in reverse here so the energy that's associated with this connection is not i'm hearing mentally stable i don't know if that means this person isn't mentally stable maybe this connection leaves you feeling mentally unstable uh, there may have been a lot of mind games at play uh, communication definitely was not what it needed to be and it made in the communication between you and this person in this connection may have caused you to feel very mentally unstable maybe even possibly questioning um i'm hearing your sanity that's kind of deep you guys <laughs> okay um mm, mm, mm. but that's what i'm uh, so, but you guys but let's keep an eye like i'm 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 being guided to kind of help you guys like refocus your energy because there is something or someone there's definitely an energy of abundance and paradise wanting to to come in now whether or not that is through another person um i'm hearing this connection with this person whomever you're thinking about um drained a lot of your energy they drain a lot of your energy. And when I'm talking about draining your energy, you guys, I'm talking about your, the energy that is required, vital force energy, the energy that is required for you to, to manifest and experience and create the life and the experiences that you want to create here. This person, whether they did it or on purpose or not, is they're almost like an energy vampire. Um, and it, it's it's mutual though i'm not saying that you drain their energy as much as they feed off of your energy it's almost like you feed their energy if you guys are in no contact and you continue you're continuing to think about this person you are feeding them your energy okay your vital force energy the energy that you require 
to create and manifest your experiences here. Oh, look at that. We got the five of pentacles. Yes, this person made you feel left out in the cold, uh, may, have made, may have made you feel abandoned. They may have left you or they may have cut contact off with you, or that may have been the reason why you cut contact with them. We got the lovers in reverse coming out, you guys. Um, this is definitely a karmic connection that you had with this person. You may have thought they were a twin flame or um, like a forever type of soulmate, but they were not. They were a counterfeit. Okay. And they're a counterfeit. I feel with this abundance and paradise energy wanting to come in, I feel like the real deal is wanting to come through. That's what I'm picking up on the real deal. Look at that the hermit in reverse this was definitely a karmic connection Ooh. they really messed with your sense of inner peace they really messed with your ability to be able to go within and see things from a higher perspective they they mess they mess with your equilibrium we'll put it like that okay um what is going on with this connection what is going on with this connection for my viewers i have a feeling this is not going to be a very long video because <laughs> basically what is what it's saying is like I feel you're calling something in, like you're calling in this energy of abundance and paradise. I feel like you're calling it in. And in order for that energy to come through, you guys, this person cannot, they can't be, they just can't be an active participant in your life. So whether that means that, that they bowed out themselves whether they bowed out themselves or the universe did something to kind of like move them out of your way. This could include putting, you know, introducing a third party into this experience. If that is something that happened, pile, a pile. If that is something that happened, viewer, I was going to say pile three. So maybe you're drawn to a lot of the pile threes in my pick a card readings. Um, if that is something that happened, you guys just understand as much as it sucks to feel, it was actually a gift from the universe because this person is not the real deal for you, okay? They are not the real deal for you. I feel the real deal is coming in. Oh, we got the Ace of Wands popping up, you guys. Oh, yeah, I just heard big energy, okay? <laughs> The real deal is coming in. <laughs> the real deal is definitely coming in. Um, and you're manifesting it. You're manifesting the real deal. But what you didn't maybe take into account what is the events that needed to unfold in order for this energy to come into your life. Okay. Anything that was blocking the manifestation of this, this, the next and here we got um, the Six of Cups energy popping up. And basically, you guys, what that is saying is um, anything from your past that is blocking this manifestation is out of there, out of there, okay? And I have a feeling, you guys, that you've been knowing for a while what is going on with this connection, but you have been avoiding it. You knew that this connection is not the best was not in your best and highest good. Um, and so you, a part of you manif is manifesting in the real deal. I think some of you hoped that this person would be the real deal, but they weren't. And so what that means then is that because you weren't either you weren't picking up on the on the signs or you were avoiding the signs like you needed to walk away and you didn't for whatever reason you know because the heart wants what it wants I, it's not even the heart i i hate it when people say the heart was it's not the heart <laughs> okay the heart does not want to be attached to someone who is um neglectful possibly narcissistic um doing the constant push and pull having you question your work the heart does not want that okay i'll tell you what wants that 
a wounded inner child wants that, okay? A wounded inner child that doesn't know better. Um, you know, anyway, okay, so. Uh, what's going on with this connection? I'm hearing it's done, whatever the hell that means. What does it mean by it's done? It's done, it's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. What's done? What, what do we mean by it's done? Okay, it's done. In order for what you're manifesting and what you're calling in to happen, it had to be done. Give me some more information though. We have, oh, you are a gem and no one compares to you. Unique and you need a counterpart who basically mirrors that back to you, okay? Um, I'm hearing Empress energies with that, okay? We have moving on and on to the next. So this connection is done. Um, red string of fate. We've got spiritual bond that cannot be broken. And that may be what you are feeling about this connection and why you have a hard time with it letting go because there is a very karmic feeling like the two of you may have had multiple lifetimes together. Um, but it's because one or both of you failed to really kind of learn your lesson with it. Okay. This go around, I feel like you have made the decision to once and for all let go of anything that was not in your best and your highest good and you're calling in this energy of abundance and paradise and anything that does not align with that or that is going to block you from being able to experience that has got to go okay and so this person the real deal not the counterfeit but the authentic one is coming in okay and in order for that person to come in anything blocking their path is being cleared away okay and this can look like multiple things you guys this can look like this can be breakups with someone that you felt may have been the one this in this can be you know the universe bringing somebody into this the person that you're you're thinking about into their path this is really big this keeps coming up i feel like if you've been left for someone else or if they are currently seeing someone else and it's kind of leaving you feeling like heartbroken out in the cold, abandoned or anything like that, please, please, please understand that that is a gift, okay? That person has been removed from your, they've been blocking your path. They've been blocking the real deal. And please understand this person, if they are making it out to be like, they're giving this third party everything that they didn't give you, mm -mm, that's not the deal, okay? The grass is not greener on the other side, but it is going to be for you. All right, you guys, um, let me get one last message. Kind of like a, um, a parting message. Let's get a parting message for you guys. Chastity. <laughs> All right says it is time to abstain from acts or behaviors that could degrade or defile you on a physical, emotional, spiritual, or psychological level. Your body is a temple. Your heart is pure. Your soul is precious. Your mind is sharp. Only allow worthy energy to touch you or enter your sacred space. Access to you must be earned. That's why this person, you are being blocked from having any kind of communication or connection with this person that you're thinking about because they were absolutely... Oh, what's that word that's going to come through? Well, degrading, like it said, degrading and defiling. They defiled you. I feel on every level. I'm feeling on every level. They degraded you physically, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically. Like um, if they didn't give you like STDs or anything like that, I really feel like they were really risky with that. Um, as far as like sexually goes, they may have. So you guys, it's just one of those things. It's like, like moving on, on to the next. And the next is like the real deal, okay? The next is the real deal. Not the counterfeit, which this person definitely was the counterfeit, okay? Um, they weren't good enough for you. Plain and simple, they weren't good enough for you. All right, the real deal is right around the corner because you are definitely manifesting this in, okay? You are manifesting them in. So it's almost like, you know, kind of do a little, like, look at it as the universe would not have gone to the lengths that it, that it did to get this person out of your way 
if this connection with this new person, the actual real authentic person isn't imminent, like right around the corner, okay? Because I feel like you were given many chances along the way to absolve this situation in a way that would have felt more favorable to you. Um, but for whatever reason, you didn't heed the call. And so because this energy is coming, um, the universe had to step in and get this person out of your way for you. Okay. All right, you guys, that was the message. I hope that re it resonated. If it did, please do me a favor and smash the like button. Um, comment, let me know what you thought. Um, share and subscribe if you feel led to do so. And I will be seeing you guys again very soon. Thanks, you guys.